Police are warning drivers to be on the lookout for thieves who are stealing tires and rims off of trucks and then leaving them on blocks across the city. Overnight, two homes on the same street in the Sendera Place neighborhood were targeted in South Austin. KXA and Sophia Beausoleil spoke with one of those victims. I feel like they would have to have a floor jack and probably at least four guys, I would think, to do that so fast and go undetected. But what's easy to detect is the odd picture of this 2014 Chevy Silverado sitting on cinder blocks, missing its tires and rims. I was just totally shocked. I couldn't believe it happened in this neighborhood. It's a great neighborhood, great neighbors. Brandon Way's next door neighbor called him in the morning to let him know someone stole his wheels. I got home last night at one and I was up at four, so. That's crazy. Whenever it happened, it was fast. Austin police say it's a problem they're seeing across the city, but overnight robbers hit the same street twice. Just 10 houses away from Brandon's, the thieves targeted another Chevy Silverado, which is now missing its tires and sitting on blocks as well. Up until this point, I hadn't been motivated to put them on yet, so I'm motivated now. Nick Schmidt's new truck was spared, but after seeing what happened to Brandon, he immediately installed locking lug nuts on his wheels. Oh, it's been a long week. If it isn't bad enough, Brandon's house recently flooded and he needed his truck to haul supplies. Now this father and husband is just trying to get everything back to normal. Reporting in South Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Austin police say there have been 59 cases of auto part thefts, most of them wheels and tires, in just the past two months. That is 17 more compared to this time last year. We checked to see what crimes are on the rise in South Austin and police records show thefts are actually down by more than 10% this year. But it's a different story when it comes to violent crimes. Robberies are up more than 14% and aggravated assaults are also up 5% compared to last year.